Safe Minds is an organization that spreads the misinformation that vaccines cause autism. Vaccines do not cause autism. Vaccines have never caused autism. There are more than a hundred large, well-controlled, peer-reviewed studies proving that vaccines do not cause autism. Last year, a huge meta-analysis of studies that involved more than 1.2 million children found absolutely no link between vaccines and autism. End of story. But still, why not do one more study, thought Safe Minds, a study on monkeys, because all of these studies showing that vaccines don't cause autism in humans still isn't going to protect those monkeys that are getting vaccinated all the time. So Safe Minds gave about $250,000 to various researchers to do a long-term study on how vaccines affect the brains and behavior of macaque monkeys. And after all that money and all of that time, what the researchers finally found was that vaccines did not affect macaques at all. It didn't affect their brains in one bit. Vaccinated macaque brains look just like unvaccinated macaque brains. Their behavior was exactly the same. They were able to pick up and learn new things at exactly the same rate, whether they were vaccinated or unvaccinated. The study was just published in my personal favorite journal, The Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, aka Penis, and Safe Minds is understandably pissed off about it. After all, they just spent a lot of money in the hopes that they would have a scientific study that they could plaster on their billboards or put in their TV ads or whatever in the hopes of furthering their fear-mongering agenda and stopping more parents from administering safe and effective vaccines to their children. Safe Minds was absolutely not expecting those scientists to do science. So this is all just one big win for science-based medicine, right? Well, not really. I mean, yes, we have yet another study to throw on to the pile of studies showing that vaccines absolutely do not cause autism, but the anti-vaccine activists have not been looking at that pile anyway. And in fact, Safe Minds has already gone on record as stating that they believe the scientists they paid to do this study, in fact, cherry-picked the data to get these results. So this study doesn't seem to be convincing anyone, and why would it? None of the other studies did. So organizations like Safe Minds will just find more scientists to throw money at in the hopes of finding one scientist who is done with the whole science thing, like Andrew Wakefield, and would rather just make up results to fit what they want to be true. And in the meanwhile, we have this study this study that killed 79 monkeys. I mean, are, are you surprised? That's how you study brains. You vaccinate the monkeys, you don't vaccinate some others, and then you kill them and you examine their brains. So 79 macaque monkeys are dead. And for what? Absolutely nothing. I care deeply about animal welfare. But I am, at the same time, totally in favor of animal research, provided that it is necessary and well-regulated. There's a huge difference between killing animals in the pursuit of new cancer treatments or testing out new surgical methods that might save human lives and killing animals just to add yet another nail to a coffin that was long ago nailed shut and buried six feet under. So to those of you who are out there keeping a record of the total body count that anti-vaccinationists have so far racked up, please add another column next to the human deaths, monkey deaths. So far, 79. 